hi friend my name is Abdul and in this video I will show you that how you can create a three, three phase variable frequency drive so what is a variable frequency drive is such a drive which is used to control the speed of a three phase motor so there are many ways to control the speed of a three phase motor like uh, you can control the number of poles and um, you can also control the field current which is given to the motor by adding a resistor so the technique that we are going to use in this uh, scheme here is basically the PWG. So what we are doing here is basically suppose we have a single phase or three phase incoming supply. The first thing that we will do is to convert that three phase or single phase supply into a DC supply. And then we charge the uh, and charge our capacitor banks and after that we will convert that DC back into three phase AC according to our requirement so the, the um, technique or the algorithm that we are going to use in this method over here is a voltage to frequency ratio so what the purpose of this method is that we are trying our best to keep their ratio voltage to frequency ratio constant so that the output we are getting here do not change the magnetic flux or the strength of the magnetic flux which is created inside the motor so in a case if the if suppose if you are just changing the voltages and not the frequency even then the speed will not um, change but if you are changing the frequency but not the voltage in that case the motor will heat up slowly and it will burn so the beauty of this technique is that we are changing voltages and frequency accordingly so that the magnetic flux Created inside uh, the rotor and the stators gap will remain constant if we are varying in the frequency. So the controller that we are going to use here is PIC 18 F67K22. Uh, it's a PIC 18 series. So and you can use any other controller depending upon your choice. And uh, so what we are going to do here is we are generating six pulses. PWM 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. So PWM 1 and 2, these two PWMs are basically the uh, the PWM 1 will create our first cycle and the PWM 2 will create our negative half cycle for the first wave. For the first phase. So the PWMs are generated and then there are some other like battery. I have also added some other functions like the start stops and the speed up speed down and um, you want to um, also you want to uh, turn the motor in a clockwise and then anti-clockwise so there are so many things that i have added in this algorithm here so let's start the simulation As you can see here, the simulation is not running in real time due to excessive CPU load. This is the this is not a error. This is basically just a warning that it's trying to show you that the please stop other things so that the as this is, uh, algorithm that involved here is requires too many calculations. So, so because of that, it's good choice if you um, close all all other applications and just run the simulation. So we will just clear it. So let's see. So as I have just showed the on showing you the only three pulses over here, PWM one, two, one, three, and six. So there are other PWMs that are like mm, two, four, and five. So you can also show them over here and. Uh, you can also so these are the basically the first wave second wave and this one is the third wave so let me show you if you are confused here for a pure cycle so let convert into pwgm2 so this uh, uh, what I'm going to do here is that I am trying to show you a complete pure sine wave. So let it start. Okay. 
okay so here it is so this one will be inverted and both these signals will be added up for a pure sine wave and the other things let us close them so friends here you can see it is a pure sine wave complete cycle okay so this is i'm showing you only for a the one single phase but uh, as if you combine all the other sources like peter gym one two and three and all six of them and you run a six h six rgbt's bridge which is a three uh, three legs of a h bridge so then this will thing will create a three phase pure sine wave inverter for the files you can contact me on my gmail id and which is t a h m e d four five triple zero at the rate of gmail dot com so i'll be happy to help you the files uh, which are available for the simulations are um, which is protein simulation this one and the codes um, and the schematics pcb design and all other files all you need to do is just a send a mail if you like this video please thumb up like share and subscribe thank you guys for watching take care bye